One of the reasons I love basketball is because you don't need friends to play. You can just shoot in your driveway. I'm not saying I didn't have friends, but there isn't always people around, right? I had an older brother. We would go out and play basketball together, shoot hoops in the driveway. But even if he wasn't around, or if I couldn't get a hold of somebody, or if I just didn't feel like calling people, right? I'm a little bit introverted by nature. Uh, sometimes I just wanted to go out in the driveway and shoot for myself. You've probably heard people say before, and I've even said it myself, how important it is to have people in your life, right? Hopefully you have a good supportive family. Hopefully you have some friends, coworkers, people in church, right? Get involved in a life group at your church or just make sure that you actually, you know, talk to people on Sunday morning, come early, stay late, have that, that communication, that community, right? That church provides on Sunday morning. Don't just sit in the back and leave. And that's important and that's huge. And I really do encourage you to get involved in your local church, join a life group, you know, have friends and family that you can not just hang out with and enjoy time with, but you can actually, you know, have real conversations, talk about life, talk about God, spiritual things, deep, meaningful things, talk about your fears, talk about your dreams. But there's just some seasons in your life where you can't count on other people. And even if you're in a season where you have a lot of people in your life and you have a good family, some good friends, a church group, there's gonna be moments during those seasons that you gotta learn to just do it by yourself. You can't always count on other people to lift you up, right? Sometimes you have to learn how to get alone with God, right? You have to be able to read the Bible for yourself. You have to be able to pray for yourself. You have to be able to communicate with God and listen to his spirit and follow his leading by yourself. You can't have, um, I always have a, a teacher or a mentor or a pastor tell you where to go and what to do. You have to be able to listen to God. You have to have a personal relationship with God for yourself. Christianity is supposed to be community, right? Church should be community, but it's also a very deep personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You can't get by on your mom and dad's faith. You can't get by on your pastor's faith. You can't get by on, on your church's faith and the other people in your life. You have to make that relationship your, yourself. So yeah, it's great when you can call up nine buddies and you can get together a game of five on five full court, right? That's awesome, I love doing that. But sometimes, some seasons in your life, some moments in those seasons, you gotta do it by yourself. It's great to have people to encourage you. But in Psalms, over and over again, you see David encouraged himself. And honestly, with the start that 2020 has been, I've needed these videos to encourage myself because I've felt there's been times when I'm frustrated, when I feel like giving up. And usually that's about the time that I got to edit another one of these videos and I watch it and it's literally me encouraging myself. If none of you ever watch this, which I, and I hope you do, I hope you share it, I hope you tell people, I hope it encourages you, I hope it helps you. But whether it does anything for you or not, whether another person watches these or enjoys these or is encouraged by these, I make these videos for myself. I like playing a game of five on five, but I'm okay shooting in the driveway. 